Blake. So he is going to try to run up and down this court tonight in terms of what he's going to say in the locker room pregame. He says they already know. I don't have to say anything. Back to you guys. They're going to go toe to toe in this postseason or post game interview, Brenna. <laughs> I'm not going to try to go toe to toe with Alex Fowler. <laughs> my, my basketball career is well behind me. Uh, 26 points for you tonight, but it was how you did it that was so impressive. Not one, but two of the best centers in all facing off here at the Childs Center. And you don't have to take my word for it. Take Lisa Leslie's. You might be seeing Keelan shooting in your nightmares tonight. Uh, what do you guys need to do in the second half to slow him down? We are officially on a record watch for UP's Alex Fowler. She is 36 points away from breaking the school's all-time D1 scoring record. Last night when I talked to you, you said probably weren't going to get a lot of sleep. Yeah. So I'm going to need the official sleep report in prepping for West Lynn from Bubba. Uh, Most people watching right now don't know this, but I covered Moses in high school at Galena High School in Reno. So we got to end this with a go Galena Grizzlies, yeah, right? Remember. Yeah, yeah, go Grizz, baby. <laughs> Back to you guys. Mike Meadows back for the first time since December 10th. He has only played in three games so far this season due to a groin injury. Last year he had a back injury that kept him out the last month of the season. So this has just been a super frustrating series of events for him. As Shante Lagan said, he did everything to make sure he was strong and ready to go for this year to avoid a situation like last year. However, some good news on the strength front. Lagan said Meadows flexed about 15 times in practice on Tuesday, <laughs> and that's how he lets his coach know he's ready to go. So hopefully we see some more flexes tonight. I love it. If you watch Clackamas head coach Corey Landel on the sideline, you'll notice that she has a peculiar piece of neckwear. She's been wearing her school lanyard all state tournament long. I had to ask her why. She says, well, she's won a lot of games wearing that lanyard at Clackamas this year. She's always wearing it to let people into gyms and doors. So now it's become a bit of a security blanket for her. It also serves a practical purpose as well, though. She keeps her pass for the state tournament on there because she's afraid she's going to lose it. Let me tell you, I left my pass on the sideline today, so I think that is a smart decision. We've all done that before. Back to you guys. Lucy Cochran out for this game with a foot injury. However, Andrews, we're going to start seeing her more and more with this Portland Pilots team. Last game against WSU, she played about eight minutes more than what she was expected to. That was her fourth game back from carrying her ACL last season. Midway through the game, the trainer looked at head coach Michael Meek and said, hey, she looks good out there. I think we can push these minutes a little bit tonight. Expect her to be around the 25-minute mark. Also guard Kelsey Lindsay back in this Portland Pilots lineup tonight after having to sit out that game against WSU as well with a hand injury. Back to you guys. half. His team has to play their brand of basketball in this second half. I asked him, was that the worst half of basketball that you guys have played this year? He said, that's the worst half of basketball I've been around, period. I can attest, Cam doesn't lack confidence. When asked in a questionnaire by LMU what current or former LMU player he most enjoyed watching, he answered, Cameron Shelton. And when asked <laughs> who inspires you to be better, he answered very simply, me. Back to you guys. <laughs> First of all, for Pepperdine, friend not going to be returning in this contest. For UP, I ran into MJ Bruno. She was coming out of the back. She gave me a big smile and a laugh when I asked her, is she good to go? She said, yeah, we'll see if she re-enters this game. The pilots might not need her at this point.